Okay, this is MIT Integration B 2017, problem number 10. We have an integral from infinity to zero of dx over x plus one over x squared. I was really liking this one because it's kind of like the exact opposite of another problem I did not too long ago where we tried to get into this form, we wanted this form, but the difference is here, we have nothing in the denominator. In the other one, we had something to do with u substitution and it worked out nice. But now, so I'm gonna do right off the bat is try to get it out of this form now, and there is an alternate, but let me just show you this way first. So what we can do is just expand this by multiplying it out. And we have x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared. And then if we multiply numerator and denominator by x squared, we're going to have infinity to 0 x squared dx over x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1. And then this piece here is clearly a perfect square. So this is gonna be x squared plus one squared. So rewriting it, infinity to zero, x squared, dx over x squared plus one, all squared. And that's why I'm saying there's slightly a different way because we actually could just start it here and multiply x squared. If we did that, we would, we just have to bring the x squared in here as an x. I just wanted to show the factoring this way. So alternatively, you could just skip expanding it and just multiplying the x squared right from the beginning, and that'd be a little quicker. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is a trig substitution. As you can see with this x squared plus one form, it looks good for um, substituting for tangent. So we'll say x is tan t, and then so our dx is gonna be secant squared t dt. Now when we make the substitution, first we're gonna change our bounds. If we look at when x is infinity, then that means tan is just gonna be uh, pi over two. At pi over two, tangent's approaching infinity. And then for when is x zero, that would be when tan is zero. So we'll update the bounds like that. Then for x squared, we're gonna have tan squared t in the numerator, dx, we're gonna plug in our secant squared t dt. Now x squared plus one is tan squared plus one, which is the same as secant squared. So we're gonna have secant squared, all squared. But we're gonna have some nice cancellation because right, we have two of these things here. We have one, so we have essentially secant to the fourth. So if we cancel here, we can cancel here and just have secant squared in the denominator. But having secant squared in the denominator is the same thing as having cosine squared in the numerator. So let's rewrite again and actually Let's write tan squared as sine squared t over cosine squared t, and then our secant squared is gonna be cosine squared t dt. Clearly, these are gonna cancel. Here, what I'll do is use the angle reduction so we can write sine squared t as half minus half cosine of 2t. And then here, we're ready to integrate. So integrating half, we're gonna get half t then we're gonna have minus a half, but then divided by this two is gonna be one over four. Derivative of cosine is gonna be sine two t, evaluated from pi over two to zero. Okay, now we just have to evaluate this thing. So for our first part, we're gonna have half t, we'll plug in a pi over two here. Then we're gonna have minus one over four, sine of two t, so two times pi over two is pi, so sine of pi is zero, so this piece is just gonna to go to zero. That's just going to be zero. Then plug in the next part minus half times zero is just going to be zero. Plug in our zero. And then minus one over four sine at zero is also zero. So this whole piece is zero. This is zero. We're just left with this. And so for our final solution, we're just going to be left with pi over four. That was MIT 2017, problem number 10. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.